All right. Hello and welcome everyone to the second episode of Dave's Networking Corner. So this month's episode is going to be a little bit different as we've recorded everything during the 2024 CanWisp conference. And if you aren't familiar with CanWisp, they are an organization that represents Canadian wireless service providers. The members of CanWisp provide fixed wireless internet access to households and businesses across Canada on networks that they've built, operate, and maintain. So with that being said, we've got a lot of exciting content to share. So I'd like to start with a quick overview of the show. All right, so this month's episode is gonna begin with an interview with John Williams from TDL Gentech. From there, we're gonna do an overview of the products that Grandstream showcased during the 2024 CanWIS conference. And many of these products are frequently used by WIS to provide connectivity in a variety of deployments. And I'll review some of the key features and specs. Lastly, we're gonna end the show with some brief behind the scenes footage of the conference. And before we move on to the interview, I do wanna take a moment to introduce John Williams. So John is the VP of sales at TDL Gentech and has over 25 years of experience in the industry that comes from multiple aspects, including distribution, manufacturing, and reselling. And if you aren't familiar with TDL Gentech, they are a value add distribution partner and have been a partner of Grandstreams in the Canadian market for over 10 years. And John's played a pivotal role in strengthening the partnership over the years and has leaned into Grandstream's portfolio. TDL Gentech carries Grandstream's entire line of products and has a vast experience in partnering with WIS, as well as MSPs, ISPs, and resellers. They can assist anyone in the channel that's seeking Grandstream products or a value-add distribution partner in Canada. So with that being said, let's dive right into the interview. All right, so I'm joined here with uh, John Williams from TDL Gentech, and we're coming to you live from the 2024 CanWisp in Gatineau. Thank you for joining me, John. Oh, thank you for having me. Absolutely. So do you want to start by introducing yourself to the audience for those of you that may not know you? Sure. Uh, John Williams, uh, I'm the sales leader for uh, TDL Gentech. Uh, we're a Canadian distributor. Uh, one of our primary uh, products is Grandstream. Uh, been in the industry for uh, over 25 years, uh, back and forth between networking and, and uh, UC applications. Uh, spent some time in some of the big manufacturers. Uh, I call myself a, a re you know a recovering PBX salesperson, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know really focused on the hosted environment. We uh, we support service providers uh, for internet for. Uh, hosted voice uh, for a lot of uh, different services out there. Uh, we sell broadband modems. We are actually very uh, much into the fixed outdoor wireless, or the you know what we're, what we're here today for, CanWIS, uh, for the uh, wireless internet service providers. So we're a multifaceted distributor. Uh, we've been very lucky to uh, work with Grandstream, uh, supporting service providers all throughout Canada, and importantly, also U.S. Uh, resellers who are delivering products to Canada. Absolutely. Well, we're very fortunate to be able to talk to you here today, especially being at the uh, the WISH show. Um, do you want to maybe talk a little bit about what would set TDL Gentech apart from some of the other distributors that some of the WISH may want to work with? Certainly, yeah. We kind of call ourselves, we, we've been we've been built by our customers. So uh, we really look for feedback and we under, we try to understand what the customers need from a distributor. So we were one of the first distributors to offer configuration services for phones, for ATAs, for any products that have that. Uh, we manage their uh, Mac databasing uh, for all their products, uh, regardless if they're being provisioned or not. But they, So they can always look back in history and find out when they bought the product, whether it's still under warranty. Uh, our primary goal is to help uh, hosted service providers drop ship directly to their customers. So every every drop ship at, at, at Gentech is a is a blind drop ship. So we continue to do that. We we seek feedback uh, from our customers on how they need the product provisioned. We do kitting. We do nine one one labels. We do out of box labeling. A lot of services that have been born from the feedback from our customers. And we continue to do that, whether it's wireless product, broadband products, or UC products. That's wonderful. Yeah, I see a lot of value in that too. So 
Um, do you have any success stories where um, you may have helped a WISP or a service provider grow? And I can see some of your, your advantages there of drop shipping and everything, but do you have any success yeah. stories that you might be able to share? So over, over the last uh, 10 years, the WISP market has been growing considerably in Canada. It's a great way to get to customers that don't have access to high-speed fiber or high-speed internet in general. And so what's been interesting is that most of them have been are so focused on just getting the link to the customer that they forget about what's happening inside the house or the commercial opportunity. And so by presenting products like the Grandstream ATAs and the Grandstream UCMs and the Grandstream networking products, we've been able to show the WISPs that they can go into the house and continue the sale, make more money out of the, you know, and, de and deploy better services to their customers. The ATAs have been working so well, for example, that it's almost a, it's very easy for them to add that to the to the monthly bill. So there's a you know they're reducing their customers' reliance on copper. They're going to an ATA over SIP. They're getting a lot more services. The customers are happy, and there's more recurring revenue for the for the reseller. That's great. Yeah, absolutely. And you guys do very well on the ATAs. So <laughs> you, you sell a lot of those. That's right. <laughs> So in your opinion, um, you know, what would some of the key factors be um, you know, to setting up a successful relationship with a WISP and a, a distributor or even a service provider and a distributor? Yeah, really it's about communication. It's about understanding what the customer needs. We, we, we think we have the right products, but we're constantly reminded by our customers that we might be missing a component or something's not right. We've added and subtracted products based on customer feedback. And really then it's about making sure that they're telling us what to do, but we're also giving them advice as to what we've seen in the marketplace. And so by adding services that they may not have thought about, they can increase the, the you know, basically they can increase the, the revenue from that customer. You know, we, we talked a little bit about the ATAs. What else have you heard from your, your customers in regards to uh, Grand Trade Solutions, whether it be with the WIFs or any of your customers in general? So what we're seeing, that the ATAs, of course, being very easy, but now there, there's a lot more interest in the, in the Wi-Fi products and, and uh, Grand Stream's large uh, product lineup of Wi-Fi is making it really easy for them to manage their customers and install it. So, and the price point is right, so it's really helping them figure that out. UCM is another one that's really coming along, so a, a really nice uh, PBX in a, in, a, in a box that is, there's no recurring uh, licensing requirements. It's, it's really shown some, some interest in, in the WISP environment. You were with us in Cancun when we announced some of our new products, yes, right. and, and Grandstream has slowly started announcing our Converge solutions, where we're taking our unified communications and our networking solutions and putting it into a, an all-in-one box. Correct. How do you think that's going to play with your customers, and you know, do you think that's going to be a, a game-changing product and something that'll do well for you guys? I, th I think there'll be a lot of interest in, in looking at that uh, all-in-one solution. Uh, the time is right. What's really nice about it is that it, you're, you're combining a very successful UCM product with some very successful networking components that you already have. Um, ease of management in a single box. Um, you know, for the SMB marketplace in the Canadian uh, space, I think it's going to do very well. Um, the UCM has been, you know, we, we tend to focus on the smaller UCMs in the Canadian marketplace, and so uh, your combined device should really do well. And we're We've seen a lot of interest. There's a little bit of skepticism because sure. it's a new yeah. product and they worry about the all-in-one components to it, uh, it's single point of failure, a few things like that. Yeah. But I think there is, just in terms of ease of use and the fact that they, they've come to trust the UCM uh, and the networking products, so I think there's going to be a lot of interest in it. Uh, we're really hoping it does well. Yeah. Uh, and we'll be out there at the front forefront trying to yeah. you know, get the feedback from our customers and make sure that the, the software and the firmware and the management works as, uh, as they're expecting it. So I think it's going to be a, an interesting collaboration in the development of the product. Uh, I know Grandstream listens. We've had, some, <laughs> we uh, we've had some times where, you know, with Wi-Fi phones and other things where the feedback has been acknowledged and the, the product has changed. So we're really excited about it. Well, it's great to hear. We do value the feedback from the partners, and, and I know you're going to give it to us, so we're, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. And really, um, you know, last thing for me, and I know we got to get back to the floor, is uh, we're going to a hockey game tonight. That's right. Who, who's going to win? 
Uh, I, I think it's going to be a Canadian team winning. It's not my favorite. All right, uh, I'm a Leaf fan, but uh, you know, they, uh, I'm not even probably not even going to chant sure. the show in the building today because I think uh, after last week's game where there was a little bit of a tussle between sure. Toronto and, and, and Ottawa, so uh, we're really excited to have all the all the customers here, uh, our partners from uh, Can West join us at the hockey game tonight. We're, well, we're looking forward to it. Today. Yeah, this is going to be my first hockey game. So no, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time, John. No, we problem. really appreciate it. Great. This. Glad to be here. Absolutely. Take care. All right. I hope everyone enjoyed that interview as much as I did. Um, I do want to transition into an overview of the networking products that we showcased during the CanWisp conference. All five of these products are very popular with, with WISP, and they help provide connectivity in a variety of deployments. I'm going to show you a brief video of the products, and then I'm going to highlight some of the key features and specs that make them popular in the space. All right, so the first product you saw there in the video is the GWN 7701PA, and this is an eight port POE on managed switch. The GWN 7701PA offers 16 gigabits per second of switching capacity and 145 watts of PoE output. And this switch is popular with WISP because it provides a quick, cost-effective way to add additional ports and high-speed internet connectivity to homes and small businesses. And this switch really requires no configuration or installation. It's a simple plug and play solution, making deployments quick and easy. All right, so the next product you saw there is the GWM 7803P, and this is a 24 port POE layer two plus managed switch that comes with four one gigabit SFP plus ports. And the GWN 7803P has a switching capacity of 56 gigabits per second and has a max POE output of 360 watts. So this switch allows SMBs and enterprises to build scalable, secure, high performance and smart business networks that are fully manageable. And because of the PoE ports, you can power your IP phones, IP cameras, Wi-Fi access points, and other PoE endpoints, which makes this very popular with WISP that have SMB and enterprise deployments. All right, so the next product we see here is the GWN 7816P. And this is a 48 port PoE and PoE++ layer three managed switch that comes with six one gigabit SFP plus ports. The GWN 7816P has a switching capacity of 216 gigabits per second and has a max PoE output of 740 watts. So this switch supports both dynamic routing and pro-AV protocols that include SDVOE, Dante, and AES67, which makes it ideal for your larger deployments and your special audio-visual deployments. And lastly, the GWN 7816P supports smart power control to dynamically allocate per port power, giving you more control when you're powering your IP phones, IP cameras, Wi-Fi access points, and any other IP endpoint. Okay. So looking at the GWN 7660, this is a two by two Wi-Fi six indoor access point, and it's actually Grandstream's most popular access point. So the GWN 7660 features a wireless throughput of 1.77 gigabits per second, a coverage range of 175 meters, 
and supports more than 500 concurrent clients. So this access point allows you to build next generation Wi-Fi networks in high density environments. And it's fully manageable for free with GWN.cloud, which makes it popular with WIST. All right, and our last product that you saw in the video is the GWN7660LR. And this is a two by two Wi-Fi 6 outdoor access point that features an IP66 weatherproof rating. And this device features a 1.77 gigabit per second aggregate wireless throughput, two one gigabit ethernet ports that support PoE and PoE plus, and two detachable or changeable antennas that allow you to customize the access point to your deployment. And with a coverage range of 250 meters and free management through GWN.cloud, this device is ideal for enterprises, multiple floor offices, warehouses, parks, hospitals, and schools. All right, this concludes episode two of Dave's Networking Corner. I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and I hope you found value in this month's episode. I've included my email on this slide, so please feel free to reach out with any follow-ups or if you have questions about GrandStream and our products, or even if you need assistance connecting with TDL GenTech. Be on the lookout for an announcement about the third episode of Dave's Networking Corner. We're going to be recording this next episode during the first week of March at WISP America. So with that being said, I'm going to cut to some behind the scenes footage of the CanWISP conference during our outro. And as always, I hope everyone has a wonderful day.